this is good one, isn't it? So golf and Va- golf, golf wang and Levi's collaboration dropping very soon. I think in the next couple of days. Brilliant, brilliant collab. Um, I think Tyler doesn't get the credit he deserves with golf wang, especially considering how he had to pivot away from the old future brand, the OF stuff. It's very different from what he's doing with the OF with the donuts and all the little kind of crazy cat illustrations. Maybe because he's grown up, but the way he's essentially, um slowly but surely evolved his personal style and his brand is very much in line with what i liked about the kind of og era of streetwear when you know when it was kind of when to get when um cut and sew was a kind of rite of passage or sort of something you earned as you kind of went on as a brand you earned a right to do cut and sew or you kind of discovered it later on when there was a need for it for instance if there was a company that could make a bag for you in the under a collaboration umbrella why would you then go and make your own bag you rather put your resources in something else but if it gets up if it came to a point where you just wanted to make you were just wanted to have your own voice in the accessories department or accessories category then you'd go and make your own stuff right but it'd be a natural progression for what you're doing it won't just come out of the blue that's what i loved about streetwear that era nowadays you know streetwear brands come out of the fucking womb and they've got you know everything they've got t-shirts outerwear footwear sometimes like it's just insane right it's just too much and you kind of need to give your customers time to sort of like grow with you um to sort of mature with the brand and i think golf wines are probably a good example of it especially if you think about what tyler did with with the odd future brand at the beginning from what it is now it's definitely uh progressed really slowly but in a really well and methodical way and this collaboration with levi's is a really good um summation of just where he's kind of gone um because you wouldn't think you know he'd be somebody who would collaborate with levi's maybe in the beginning when he was drawing a lot of these jeans maybe you might have thought that but not in this way it's very very classily uh very very classy done um so he says here golf and levi's create a polka dot capsule for the 501 day um and you've got this amazing polka dot jean jacket and denim trousers or sorry a denim jeans which look fucking beautiful i'm sure this will be very popular they're gonna fly off the shelf um you've got this little addition of the back pocket with a golf emoji um sorry um golf motif logo with a sort of heart symbol on the back it looks fucking gorgeous absolutely love so this is it um for the text on might be says put up on the screen for you guys to see but if you can see that yep so i said golf wang label has unveiled a collaboration with levi's to celebrate his this year's 501 day marking the anniversary of the jeans in introduction in 1873 for the 2025 one day tyler has put his twist on the iconic piece for introduction of a colorful polka dot pattern on an ecru denim base as well as covering the classic 50193 jeans the rainbow print polka dot pattern also features a vintage fit trucker jacket the 93 jean features a boxier heavier waist fit than the other 501 cuts although it has the same length uh has the same straight leg cut giving it a baggier style chosen by tyler's which is pretty cool i think that's the key again to most collaborations the the devil is always in the detail it's not always sort of like going in there and doing some crazy pattern or style it's mostly just taking whatever's in the archives tweaking it maybe to your liking or purposely going in and saying that i would much rather have this boxer fit on the jeans and maybe have a little bit more of a tailored fit on the j- jean jacket i like that silhouette i think it looks beautiful and again it kind of steers away from the straight slim cut silhouette you maybe are more of a familiar with with some of the le- other levi collaboration maybe you know supreme would be a good example of it they usually tend to go for a little bit more of a slimmer straighter fit but i like i prefer the sort of like you know old school baggy fit on the jeans where you can essentially you know maybe size down and make them slimmer or you can maybe get them a, a half a size bigger for that baggy fit that kids tend to like like these days um it says here the such a style is also referenced through the sizing patch that showcases both the levi's and low and golf size sizing on the pieces finishing off the design is a golf wine logo complete with a heart and flower on the back pocket but yeah brilliant stuff man so good so that's a jacket there with the massive levi's logo on the inside and then the jeans oh so good man i'd wear them both man honestly i don't know what to choose obviously the jacket is probably the easiest thing to wear because you know most people just wear that jacket as just a loud piece they're wearing with some kind of neutral tones down below but i think i'd wear the entire thing head to toe for sure it's really really good man it's gonna come out in stores may 20th uh what levi's and golf wang store so definitely check that out because i'm sure it'll be priced really well too because um Tyler's a really good job of pricing these golf wank stuff um, really well for the most part. 
and of course the lookbooks are always great the photographer is always amazing but yeah well done to him man that looks really cool I'm really really impressed with that and um hopefully it hangs about if i do end up buying it i would like to have the chance to get it if possible but that probably isn't going to happen so you know we will stop complaining about that one so let's move on